Hey everyone, this is Mike with JetAdmin, and in this video we'll learn how to work inside of Data Editor with specific collections or tables. All right. So as we've learned, you have a list of collections here, and you can choose your collection. And when you chose your collection, all the data is fetched and displayed here in the main sections. You can collapse that. So you have your typical grid with headers here, the names of the columns, the columns, and the rows. And before we jump into working with your data, it's useful to go over a few navigations options that will allow you to zoom in on the relevant parts of the data. The first one is filter here. So you can click into it and you can see all the columns from this table. So I can choose, for example, name. When I click name, I can right away specify the logical operation. You can click into it and see that all the list of all the operations, you can choose contain and you can set the value. When you type your value, you just click enter and this filter is applied. If you want to add a new filter, you can click add filter here. It's going to open up the same drop down, or you can click into this filter icon here and pretty much that duplicates the functional. All right. If you want to edit the filter, you can click into it and you can change once again, the logical operation. You can change the value here or you can delete this filter, right? Then if you want to, you can click into an individual specific column and filter from here, but it pretty much is the same functional. All right, next up is sorting. So we can click into sort and choose the field that we want to sort by. Let's choose category. And when we, when we chose this field, this is gonna open up this tab here. We can click into this tab. If we want to adjust anything, we can change different field or we can change the way we want to sort, ascending or descending. And we can add multiple sorts. We can stack them as we can with filters. Well, obviously we can delete sorting. All right. And when you enable sorting, all the fields that this table is sorted by will have this little sign here indicating the sorting is enabled. All right. Just delete it. Another option to, to make your life more comfortable here is displaying or hiding certain fields. So you have all your fields enabled here. You can hide them all. You can show them back all or you can granularly set which fields you want to display and which you don't. All right, finally, what you can do here is you can click into an individual column and you can click edit field and you can change the type of this field. So for example, this images that I brought from Airtable are not rendered right now as pictures. So in order for me to render them as pictures, I will go ahead to this tab and just find the field type. It's going to be image. I apply it. Right now, I'll just click save. And it's going to show pictures. Great. And an important point to note here is that all the changes to the fields that you make here will be automatically reflected within the UI components when you connect this data to those UI components. So for example, if I go ahead here to a new page, and I drag a table and I'll choose my air table and my design projects collection. As you can see, these project images, project images are rendered as images, which is exactly what I've set here inside of data editor. So it's a really useful way to organize your data beforehand, before you start building. All right, that was it. Thank you for watching. Have a great one. Bye.